Hello everybody, I would um, like to say something. This is, n I wrote this, but it's not very good. I just needed something to put it over. Um, so this is the story of my crazy music teacher. I'm not gonna name any names, I'm just gonna call him. <clears throat> I'm gonna call him Mr. M. So I'm in fifth grade, I just wanna do band next year. You have to choose between three choices. In my school, it's general music, choir, and band. Now, out of those, I didn't like choir the year before, which they made us do. So, I picked band. Which would show that it wasn't a good idea. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Um, <coughs> I want, And I wanted to play Trump as well, so... I was in band, and everyone else besides General Music 1 had a different teacher than me. <coughs> Sorry. Then, then me. So now, on the first day, I was hyped. So then I walk in the class and I see some bags in the corner, and I thought that that has to be for the other classes. But apparently my parents were supposed to get an email about that. No. No, not at all. Um, we were supposed to have it, we were supposed to have all of our stuff three weeks ahead of school. <clears throat> now tell me how that makes sense at all. If it wasn't for another week that we act, it wasn't for another two weeks that we actually got to use it. Yeah. And, uh, here are just some other crazy stories or something about them. <clears throat> so, I walk into class, and these are out of order, by the way. I walk into class, I'm walking, walking, and I'm a little bit late. I see Mr. M standing right outside the door, and he steps on the back of my shoe, and he says, oh, you're, he steps on the tie of my shoe because I was trying to get to class. He says, your shoe's untied, and also, where's your trumpet? And I said, I forgot it. I had to go to my mom's house and I forgot it. Which should be understandable. Like, a normal music teacher would have been like, Oh, alright, uh, just try and pay attention. And uh, we'll uh, do that for And you can do that. <clears throat> but no. He steps on my shoelace and says, Why don't you tie it? And where's your trumpet? Where is it? <laughs> so that happens. Another day. <clears throat> if you don't like uh, certain themes, then just don't listen to this part of the story. Story number two! Uh, this one just made no sense. So, the, the, we were playing bad, and it was within our first month of school. And you know what my man says? Are you high on crack? <clears throat> now, let me ask you something. Are teachers supposed to ask you if you're doing drugs? For, um... Absolutely no reason. Like, hard drugs. Uh, so yeah. And then when I try to tell other teachers about it, because I'm like, I can get him fired for this. Which I didn't want to do. It was his career and all that. But that's just not o that's just not okay in my opinion. And all the teachers said was, Oh, he's so sarcastic. And I'm like, everybody else in the class heard him do that. Saw him do all this. And yeah, they think he's just kidding. Now that's what I didn't understand. And one time Made a girl take off her shoe. <clears throat> well, I can't remember if she made if he made her, but I'm pretty sure he did. And that was just a little weird. Um, this is gonna be a really short one, but in class one time, the drummers were doing something. And he's like, it's kind of like giving alcohol to a baby. 
don't give the whiskey to the baby. Don't give the whiskey to the baby. And it was weird. <clears throat> Alright, so. Oh, yeah. A little, a little bit more on that shoelace part. He told me to take off my sh I started taking off my shoe. He's, and he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, you're not going to get off of it. So, how am I supposed to get into class? And he's like, well, maybe you should have tied it. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. So... And also, on that drugs part, <clears throat> he asked us what we were smoking.